Welcome, Cade Mitafalcha, to uh, this week's uh, Padre Pio TV um, message to uh, all of you devotees in the English language. And again, I remind you that uh, <laughs> to Le Monde, Tutti, everybody is welcome to to join us and tune in. Uh, and just a, again, a further reminder that there is uh, reflections on this Have a Good Day series, the Padre Pio book, Have a Good Day, with messages and sayings, words of wisdom from Padre Pio uh, in other languages uh, on Padre Pio TV. Uh, we usually uh, find they are available on Saturday evenings, so at least the English language, and my one, this one, uh, you will find uh, coming at you coming at you on uh, Saturday evenings. So again, a warm welcome. Do feel free to like and share on your social media. So this is the wonderful message of St. Pio for this week. And it's a good one. It is necessary to be strong to become great. This is our duty. Life is a struggle from which we cannot withdraw, but we must triumph. It is necessary to be strong, to become great. This is our duty. Life is a struggle from which we cannot withdraw, but we must triumph. Uh, first reflection on that, the first images I get on that would be the experience we've just had, dear friends, in the last uh, few days, uh, as we closed Holy Week, as we closed Lent, as we moved into the uh, Paschal Triduum, and we saw Jesus in agony in the garden. We saw Jesus uh, betrayed. We saw Jesus arrested. We saw Jesus hounded and abused. We saw Jesus tormented. We saw Jesus in uh, a sort of humiliation before the Sanhedrin, in humiliation before Pilate. We saw him uh, tried in a sort of a, a mock, sort of almost, you know, insulting trial. <clears throat> we saw Jesus being crowned with thorns, the heavy cross being weighed on his back, this frenetic, frenzied, mad, almost crazy walk to Calvary with the baying rabble, the booing and frenzied crowds. <clears throat> we saw Jesus being nailed to the cross. We saw Jesus dying on the cross. In his dying moments, he forgave the repentant thief. He forgave his, uh, his crucifiers. He forgave us all. If there was ever a strength and weakness, that is it, dear friends, <clears throat> excuse me, if there was ever a moment where, you know, strength and power, uh, and not power for the sake of it, real power, power from inside, the power of, of goodness, the power of selflessness, the power of the image of God, the power that only Jesus Christ could save us was if you like, sharing with us all, uh, sharing his salvation, sharing his love, sharing his mercy. It is necessary to be strong, to become great. This is our duty. Life is a struggle from which uh, we cannot withdraw, but we must triumph. So light comes out of darkness. Strength comes out of weakness. Selflessness comes from all this selfishness and all this, you know, look after number one mentality. Um, you know, I'd love not to be afraid. I would love to kind of have a courage, a fearlessness on the inside that would, that would protect me almost from, from the slings and arrows out there, you know. Uh, to be fearless is a great, great merit. It's a great gift. It's a great mercy too. To be fearless is a great grace. You know, to to have a, a, 
a, a perfect trust, to have a complete trust in the good Lord. I'd, I'd love that gift. And that's, that's the gift I guess I pray for. That's the gift I pray for for others, a gift of fearlessness. Because if we were fearless, if we weren't afraid, sure, nothing could disturb us. We'd have the hand of the Lord morning, noon and night. And if we had the hand of the Lord, sure, we wouldn't be afraid of anything. I'm sure Patrick Pio, despite his sufferings and the fact that he wore and bore the stigmata, I'm sure Padre Pio, in a sense, sharing the cross of Christ, I'm sure he wasn't afraid, actually. And I'd say other friars noted that. You know, especially his detractors and those who, who kind of tried to trip him up and those who were sceptical of him, but not sceptical and the sceptical and those who were kind of genuinely concerned that, you know, the truth come out. But there were also those who were sceptical because they wanted to trip him up and they were unhelpful. Um, you know, Padre Pio saw through all that. It is necessary to be strong to become great. I saw great strength on Good Friday, dear friends. I was invited to um, come and, and bring the relic to uh, some little children who were sick in the children's hospital on Good Friday, as I said. Um, and some of the parents were there. The parents had, had reached out and through the chaplaincy we went in. And I saw great strength. The strength, of course, of the little ones who were sick, the strength of the parents, despite their fears, despite their in many ways, helplessness. I saw the great strength of our nursing staff, our medical staff, our, our care staff, our chaplaincy staff. I saw the great strength of all the great displays of selflessness in the midst of this passion. On Good Friday, I did, in a powerful way, celebrate the Lord's passion in the children's hospital. And in that weakness, I saw great strength and fortitude. They were becoming strong even in their kind of struggle. So I really do see the, I really do see the Padre Pio um, message here, dear friends. It is necessary to be strong, to become great. Life is a struggle from which we cannot withdraw, but we must triumph. We've no choice. I think Padre Pio is absolutely right there. It's forward motion. I said this before. It's progress, not regress. We must go forward, not backwards. We must become great, and in order to be in the becoming of being of becoming great, we are of course conscious that the Lord is within us, that we're not great for and of ourselves. It's the Lord within us, shining through us, who is who is great for us. I think Pope Benedict said that the late Pope Benedict. Uh, our bodies were made for comfort, but you are not made for comfort. You are made for greatness. So let's become great by becoming strong. Let's embrace. The process, you know, let's acknowledge the struggle and therefore let's, with the good Lord, triumph, not for ourselves, but let the gospel, let Christ triumph within us through the prayers of Padre Pio. In Anamanaha, Augustine Vic, Augustine Spirit, Amen. Alleluia, Alleluia.